trying to get in here just to see what's happening to these sims. <laughs> it's so funny. They're all just like walking through one another, crying on top of one another, melding into each other's bodies. Witness death times three. You're gonna be witnessing a lot more death than that. I had to turn the walls on so that you could get a better idea of just how packed like fleshy sardines all of these sims are <laughs> meanwhile death can't even get inside he's out here like jesus christ great what have you done oh because there's a dead body in here everyone's moving from the living room so now there's a hundred people in the tiniest room in the house outside of like maybe this bathroom you get to see the few dead bodies that are all out here this guy's gonna die right next to the rest of them too he's going down right now <laughs> People are like, all right, we heard someone died in the other room. Let's all file through the door. <laughs> Look at all hundred of them going through the door. Hey guys, I, I know you're all really sad, but someone left their grilled cheese on the stove top. Can one of, one of y'all get that? This guy died just for me talking about it. Uh-oh, we're starting to get some sort of chain reaction over here. We got another death going on. I actually can't go into the build menu to get rid of anything because there's so much death happening right now. <laughs> there's another one going down. Just like a non-stop wall of death at this point. Mateus going down, Juliana going down. On a side note now, there's a lot more space inside the house because you know, like a good 20 people or so have died so far. Some of the Sims in the back here have simply forgotten how to cry. Actually, this girl just doesn't even have any animations anymore. <laughs> They're still dropping. This guy is like, Gray, how much more death do I have to witness? This little area over here on the side of the screen is what I have now called the wall of death. You know that there's a lot of Sims inside of a house when someone's head has fallen through the wall. As I say that, like two more people just drop dead. This is interesting. Things are starting to break pretty bad. I can't actually click on anything anymore. Ah, started back up just in time for someone to die. Oh, someone actually died straight outside of the house. Lucky her. LSD just died of starvation. Oh, people are gonna start starving to death. That's right, no one's eaten for like three days. Francis, are you gonna die through the wall? Up, oh, up, oh, you fell to the right. There's maybe what, 10, 20 Sims left? Florida man's still alive. I like how every once in a while, just like a random urn pops up. Bab Ross died of starvation, one of our originals. I'm surprised everyone's not dehydrated. They've been crying for like 72 hours straight. All right, couple more starvations going on here. I'm pretty surprised that there's this many Sims still left alive. No, Florida man, starvation, the Bud Light, it couldn't sustain him. Michael Rowland, I don't really care about you. I think there's like five Sims left. Their animations have all paused though, so I can't really tell. Just in time for someone new to die. <laughs> Just, oh, people are turning into ghosts spontaneously. What the hell's happening? That came out of nowhere. Did they die or what? This, is this the only guy that's left? Was that the one dude that was still left alive? No, that was our winner. He just died of starvation. Somewhere in the middle of all this, at the beginning of the queue, someone just died again. So now everyone has to be sad about her for a while. Look at the air sparkling, the lights glistening, and the gigantic crowd of people in nonstop torment as more and more people die at the beginning of the queue. They're gonna spend their entire lives from beginning to end in this queue. And the one lady that finally managed to get there and swim immediately drowned. And everything just officially froze. I'm in the fast forward and nothing's moving anymore. Time is just stood still. Everyone, I think, almost died at exactly the same time. And it completely destroyed the entire game. Oh, I can't even pan anymore. Well, everyone spent their entire life in this queue from beginning to end. Some people disintegrated in the pool. Okay, the, the fire is spreading pretty quickly. Florida Man, no! Everyone run! Jesus Christ, LSD, LSD put out the fire. She's completely catatonic. She doesn't know what's happening. What are you all doing? The front door is right over there. They're all like, oh, we can't get out. I didn't lock the doors on you, run. <laughs> They're all like, LSD never taught us fire safety. All we ever learned was how to be ninjas and smell like shit. They're just running in circles. LSD still isn't doing anything. She's like, serves you right. Okay, we have two like 10 smart children that are running outside of the house finally. I can't believe that Florida man was the one to start this, no. 
Oh no, it's just a pile of foul-smelling beings. LSD, no, you came so far. Death did show up. I never thought you'd come here. There's already like 30 people dead on the ground, though. You got your work cut out for you, man. You can tell he's over here. He's like, mother of God. He just peaced out without taking anyone with him. He's like, nope, some of these people can't even leave. They're trying to get to the bathroom, but there's like so many bodies, they can't get out. That sucks when you die inside of a bathroom that has no toilet and instead is filled with full liquor bars. Tim Horton's still alive. So there's about 20 or 30 people left. This is what the kitchen looks like at this point. <laughs> I think what's particularly amazing here is that there's almost no place left for anyone to die. Okay, there's only a few people left. Somehow, Australian Man and Tim Horton are still in here, as is Hillary Clinton. No! Australian Man goes down, and that means that the likeness of Hillary Clinton is the winner. No, wait, I was wrong. I forgot my pants is still alive. She's going upstairs. Wait, what just, what just happened? I forgot my pants went upstairs to die. And as such, in the giant massacre of bodies, that means that this is our winner. She looks so happy. Colino, the disease has finally taken him, but not before he got a bunch of people sick. Okay, there are quite a few people now that have managed to contract the disease. This dude over here, this poor lady. This guy lost his hair and his health. Bab Ross and another lady just bit it. Well, if the contagion wasn't bad enough, someone just set something on fire. And we just had someone die in a fire. Flocaine dies in the fire as well retroactively won. <laughs> Nicolette goes down. God, I had managed to get up to 100 sims, but they're all dropping so fast. Now in 21 hours, this guy is going to become highly contagious as is everyone else that was passed the illness along. Remember the lady that was bad mouth and spleens? She just died. Well, someone died in the pool. Sure have seen that one coming. Death number two by the pool. Jesus, the rodent disease is spreading. People are dropping like freaking flies. Everyone around Florida man is dying. We're now down to like 25 or 30 people left. And the disease causes this lady to projectile vomit on everyone around her right before she dies. <laughs> it looks like the people that had all been infected together are now starting to hit the end phase of the illness. You better not land on my cat when you die. Fall to the right. That was close. Got a tooth right over here. There is no place that is safe. These people had just gotten into the hot tub and they're like, God damn it. Now we have to get out so we can mourn this corpse. At this point, we're down to about 15 or so. Ah, uh, someone decided to die inside of the bedroom. That's good. That is an extravagantly large puddle of urine. I think we're about to have a bit of a chain reaction going on because typically when one sim dies of all of their various ailments, everyone else is soon to follow or fall asleep right next to the dead body. Oh, this is just going to be a corridor of death. Look at what happened over here. Everyone hung out in this little hallway for about 20 minutes because of that one death and it is just soaked with urine. Oh yeah, the bars have it in place now. <laughs> you see what you've done? Do you see, cardiac explosion, <laughs> Oh my God, for being over emotional. <laughs> People are starting to drop. Do you see, do you see what your, what your focus on alcohol has done to you all? You can hear the sounds, the sounds of, everyone's will to live slowly evaporating from their bodies. Spleens, did you just urinate on that corpse? This guy died right next to the ATM is when he saw his bank account. <laughs> no, the guy who's been in his swim trunks for the entire episode finally died. The death is uh, starting to come fast and furious. Luckily, Whitley is still alive at least. But this is interesting. We've got a perfect semicircle of urine now. This is interesting that the two spots that are claiming the most lives is the entryway next to the ATM machines and then the managerial spot. Oh, Bab Ross is still alive too. Okay, it's like people are trying to go 
for new records in various urine puddles after I mentioned that the record was recently just broke. Oh my God, this manager's office. It is like possessed with the angel of death. This may be like eight puddles of urine over here at this point. I don't even know anymore. Wow, she got them all. Oh, this is new and exciting. We're finally having someone die over by the hot tub. I don't think that's happened in a while. Well, <laughs> in retrospect, putting all this stuff here in the pool was probably the worst idea I've ever had in my life. Yes. Let the infinite death commence. We're probably gonna lose like three fourths of the people right now because the problem is since everyone started to open up the stuff onto the table and everyone keeps dying over here because they're all exhausted from not constantly snorting meth for every hour of the day, they're all gonna search around into death. Oh God, no. I better get the 25 other Sims in here as quick as possible. I don't know if we're gonna make it past two days. Oh Jesus, I can't. I can't actually even do anything. Everyone's just insta-dying. There's blood and death and ass everywhere. <laughs> Vengeful deity. I think I probably got that about 10 seconds ago. Oh my God, look at all the death. No. All of my people. This is why you shouldn't do drugs. Notification wall full. Yeah, I bet. No, Florida man just drowned, son of a bitch. Okay, Australian man is still alive, mostly because he's asleep right now. What is wrong with you people? Stop jumping into the pool. All it is is a maelstrom of death and cancer. Okay, so I have to mention something real quick. These people that I haven't managed to get addicted to everything yet, um, they're in here, okay, with all the dead bodies. And this guy is inspired because of the decor. <laughs> like, man, there's nothing quite like a couple of dozen bodies to get the old creative juices flowing. I have never seen water chaos to this extent in my whole life. We just lost Bad Ross. Okay. In the downtime that we finally had because people have stopped dying, I've managed to get the final 25 people addicted to everything, cancer, smoking, and alcoholism. Look at this horror. Everywhere you go, ah, oh, it's LSD. Everywhere you go, there are bodies. See, right now we have uh, synchronized swimming, but pretty soon it's gonna be synchronized dying. Why is everyone vanishing? What the hell is going on? That's right, kids. You do drugs, you're gonna friggin' evaporate. This is the death that never ends. <laughs> what you doing there, ma'am? She's like, I'm enjoying the party. Okay, so far, they've gone through about 150 pounds of delicious spleens flour. Uh, I think half of the entire population is dead thus far. Hey, guys. Y'all, um, y'all enjoying the pool party? Yeah? And hey, don't worry about that. Just a little decor. Everyone seems to be always inspired by the decor after all. See that? This guy was so inspired he died. See this? This is how awful drugs are. This guy died after he was already dead. Doesn't matter where you go in this house. No place is safe. Haven't had to clean out the pool in a while. So uh, I guess it's high time for about 10 more deaths over here. Oh my God, so many people are dying. The camera is just bouncing all over the damn place. None of you are gonna win the lottery. It's not like you're gonna get to spend it on anything anyway. Oh crap. One of our teachers just died. I like how she died and like this child just absorbed her soul. Due to neglect, Jefferson is being whisked away to safety now. Oh God, the culling has begun. Okay, children are getting abducted all over the place right now. Who will be left in the end? <laughs> Look at Spleen. She's like, you're my best friend. Oh, she- No, you can't take the children that are in detention. They haven't learned their lesson yet. It's like some sort of homeschool-based rapture. I can't click on all this fast enough. <laughs> what the hell are y'all crying about? Oh, Colino is literally drowning right now. Babaross decided to end it all as well. <laughs> Oh God, my students are starting to drown to death. They've all figured it's the only way out of homeschooling. That's nice, we got the double drowning now. No, Constance, my rebel. Meanwhile, Whitley just, she just literally died from that. Florida man, Jesus, no. Oh, the final culling has begun, I guess. This girl got pretty close. Okay, the rest of the neglects are happening right now. Australian man just died. There is now only one child left. There's actually only one adult left and it's Ellis. It's Ellis and this young girl here. So, 
people just started teleporting out of the house into this area over here. Look at them. They're just appearing out of nowhere. Look at all the people. Where the hell are y'all going to? You bastards. You're supposed to be inside the house. Oh, God. Oh, no. The, the chain of death is beginning. People are just falling over left and right. The bodies don't even have enough space to lay on solid ground. There's so many deaths happening. I'm not vengeful. I didn't do this on purpose. Everyone teleported over here by themselves. Oh my God. Maybe it was the rotten food that got to her. Look at how much filth is everywhere. Everyone is just covered in their own feces. There's titanic bottles of urine everywhere. Get back into the house. I'm trying to teleport them all back over to the house. We get rid of all these death notifications. We've got to clean up all the bodies. Stop dying. I'm trying to move you back over to the house. Fabros, no! They're dying so quickly, it's destroying the frame rate. Jesus Christ! Someone set the grill on fire! No! There's nowhere for everyone to go! People are just going upstairs! They're purposefully walking into the fire to kill themselves! Look at them! They're lining up to die! They're all just walking... <laughs> I've never seen anything like this! Okay, the fire is finally out. <laughs> But it's killed like 10 people. Did, did that dude just say son of a bitch? That moment when the rooms are so small that people have to die in midair. I do appreciate that this guy died in such a way that like only one foot is inside of the actual house. Florida man. He lasted so long. I do have to mention that LSD is still alive. Okay, well, D minus was still alive, but she just passed away. There's only about 20 Sims left. It looks like a freaking battlefield over here. What makes a Sim turn neutral? Have a Sim stay in the fine emotion for 48 hours straight. How the hell is anything here fine? Someone else just got set on fire. How are you guys screwing this up? Everyone spent their entire time complaining and bathing in the piss of their brethren. And now they're all starving to death. Florida man died, surrounded by his own. I'm actually so exhausted of cleaning up all the bodies. I'm just, I'm just leaving them there now at this point. They're gonna be permanent decoration for this house. This dude doesn't even know where to die. He's like, there's no service area left. Well, everyone over here is dead. That's what you get for teleporting out of the house, you bastards. Okay, we have uh, about five, <laughs> four people left. Just making sure no one's hiding upstairs. Nope, the bodies are just piled up all the way on top of the house. Man, oh God. Increasing the size of the pool is causing all sorts of horrible things. I can't even expand it yet because so many people are dying. I even lost one of the buttons over here. Ah, the old rest in the middle of a hundred puddles of urine trick. All right, if you guys would please stop dying for just like one second, I would finally be able to detract the house because it needs to go in like another three levels. Gotta go three levels. All these bedrooms are going. Oh my god, shrinking the house is such a bad idea. Oh no. <laughs> Listen to all the people dying. Are you done? Is everyone is everyone done dying? Can I finish this please? Okay, we're back into it. If anyone wants to cook out here in the middle of the freaking pool, feel free. Oh no. <laughs> The bodies. Everywhere I go, I have to clean up the bodies of the damned. <laughs> Stefan, you will be missed by approximately nobody. Hey, finally people are starting to drown to death. Took you long enough. All right, we've got several people drowning to death now. That's excellent. It's really sad when literally sims are jumping right into the water only to drown immediately <laughs> yeah die of embarrassment that's what you get for not going swimming okay some of the drownings have now started at this point usually where one drowning occurs more are coming like shortly thereafter are you two like having dinner at the table while it's floating in the middle of the water how <laughs> marcio no okay there's another there's another death right over there from drowning look at all the look at 
them all move together? It's like a school of fish. More drowning, more drowning, more drowning, more drowning, more drowning, more drowning, yes. Did someone just fly across my screen? I have glitched out this particular episode so bad at this point. No, Australian man, how can you do this to me? You've left Florida man all alone. Meanwhile, LSD is literally standing on this man's ass. Colino just went down. All right, let me go ahead and clean up these bodies and see how many we've got left. It's 10 o'clock, so 12 more hours. If they manage to survive, I'll be a liar. All right, everyone, hold on, hold on. Don't you all die at once. Bab Ross just died. Although she's already a ghost here, so I don't know if she drowned twice over or what. All right. We're down to about like 25 or so now. I love how they're all just swimming in a pack from body to body to pay their respects. They just get through all these death notifications here. The game is frozen and everyone's in T-pose mode, but I think I just heard like 40 people die all at once. Oh Lord, here we go. <laughs> Yeehaw, boy. <laughs> <laughs> the culling has begun. This guy died so hard he changed clothes. Gil, Amina, Erica, Jonathan, Kelsey, Nora, Mason, Herbert, Jesus, Deshaun, Lily, Alina, Angela, Bonnie, Caitlin, Ivan, Susan. Who will be left? Skylar, no. <laughs> With a name like Skylar, though. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> People are just disappearing. They're not even really dying. They're just ceasing to exist. We done? Is this is this gonna be the, the crop that's around for the next age up? Okay, Florida man is still in this at the very least. I don't know who else is here, but look at what has happened. I told you eating nothing but friggin' potato chips would eventually catch up with you. Potato chips and toast. Was that like a PBJ sandwich that's 40 years old? Okay, we, we hold on. The deaths aren't over yet. God forbid. This is what you get for doing nothing but playing video games. It's all because of that damn cell phone. <laughs> Plenty of people have died over in the sleeping area. People are dying inside of the basketball area. Winterfest was awful. Yeah, I'll bet. There's people freezing to death now? How? Oh, I guess it is pretty cold down here. Yeah, New Year's Eve was awful, uh-huh. Freezing to death. Stop dying for two seconds. God, Sims are more fragile than goldfish. Okay, the gigantic first mess of deaths is finally over, and it looks like we have, uh, what, like maybe 25 people left? Florida Man is still in there. LSD, Bab Ross, Colino, Pisis, and Australian Man sadly did not make it. Spleens and tonsils are still fine though. Okay, so we lost like 75 people from childhood to teenagehood, but we've only lost like 10 or so from teen to young adulthood. We're down to about what, maybe like 15 people? Well, it looks like we got a couple more deaths going around right as everyone started to pick up some legitimate skills. Look at this, a few more people dying of starvation because why not? I think they've just gotten tired of living in this basement for the last 35 years. Bab Ross, no. Dying of embarrassment. Florida has sent Dawson a gift. Florida's been dead for years. What the hell are you crying about? What do you, what do you, oh my God. At this point, a grand total of nine people have made it to adulthood. They're finally legitimate adults. Is anyone going to make it to elder? Demario's dying. And this leaves us with four people left. Okay, we just had another death. That brings us down to one in one. What happened to my girl? What happened to my mixologist? She was in here cleaning, and then she vanished. She died and sent the last guy that's alive a gift, and this is our boy. The game just ended randomly. No one even died. I shouldn't say no one died. It's just no one died on screen. They all just evaporated. The game is over. Got 104 children. Apparently, it takes 104 children to cause the apocalypse. Well. I think we learned some very important things here today. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of The Sims 4. Until the next time, stay foxy and much love.